Hello friends. So let's start with the problem number one, which is on the Cartesian curves. It means here we are going to find out the length of curve where the given curve is a Cartesian curve. So let's see how to get the length of the curve. <music> show that length of the arc of the curve a y square equal to x cube from the origin to the point whose abscissa is b is this now guys to understand to start with the problem first of all focus on the given curve so here the given curve is a y square equal to x cube now in the previous video we have studied the basic graphs and their equations so can you tell me what is this curve is so whenever we have y square and the other figure or the other term is the odd power of x. So such curve is called as semi-cubical parabola. So it means this is a semi-cubical parabola. So if I draw this, then we'll get the shape like this. Now, here, I'll again read the problem. So we have to find out the length of R of the curve from the origin. So I have to find out that length from the origin to the point. So let's say there is some point. Let's say here I have one point which is nothing but P whose abscissa is B. Now guys let me tell you that abscissa is nothing but X coordinate and the Y coordinate is called as ordinate. So, the, these are the words which we use in, ge in geometry. <laughs> so, the x coordinate is nothing but the abscissa. So, it means the x coordinate of this point is B. We don't know about the y coordinate. Now, guys, if you'll observe these two points, let's call this point as O. So, I have to find out the length of curve from O to P, or I have to find out this OP. Now, in this OP, since the x coordinate is given, so it means the value of x1 and value of x2 is given. So that is why I will consider this given curve as y equal to f of x because then only we'll get dy by dx and then only in the integration, we can use the limits from x1 to x2. That, so this thing I've already explained to you in the first video. I would take the next page. So let's say if this is the formula to find out the length of curve then y has to be function of x because then only you can take the limits as from x1 to x2 or the x coordinates of the points. So here I'll take the x coordinate. So let's start. So first of all I'll say here the value of a y square is equal to x cube. Now to get the value of dy by dx, I will differentiate both sides with respect to x. So here we will get 2 a y dy by dx is equal to 3 x square. Now we can say that dy by dx is 3x square upon 2ay. So this is the value of dy by dx. Now we can use this value of dy by dx in the formula to find out length of curve. So here I'll say therefore the length of curve which is s equal to integration x1 to x2 which is 0 to b is given by the formula under root 1 plus dy by dx the whole square. Now guys, this is the value of dy by dx. Let's square it. So 9x raised to 4 upon 4a four square y square into dx. Now guys, since I am integrating with respect to x, I should have the variables as x. But now here we have y square. So what to do with the y square? So don't worry just observe the equation once again so here we have a y square equal to x cube so we can say that y square is x cube upon a and i'll put that value over here so we will get s as integration 0 to b 
under root 1 plus 9 x raised to 4 upon 4 a square and this is x cube upon a dx. Now this 1a will be cancelled, x cube cancelled. So here we will get 9x, here we will get 4a. Now the question is how to find out the integration. So it's simple. Here this is the function of x and root is nothing but raised to half. So we have a formula of integration for x raised to n which is x to the power n plus 1 divided by n plus 1. I'll use that formula. So by that formula here I will say the answer is 1 plus 9x upon 4a to the power 3 upon 2. In the denominator we will get 3 upon 2 into the derivative of this. So derivative of 1 is 0 and this 9x upon 4a will give us 9 upon 4a. And this is from 0 to b. Now guys, this 9 threes are which is 27 upon 8a, it will come out, that will become 8a upon 27. I will take it outside. So here 8a upon 27 outside. And for this function, I will put x as b and then x as 0. So if I put x as b, so here we will get 1 plus 9b upon 4a to the power 3 upon 2 then middle sign minus and when I'll put lower limit as 0 this term will become 0 and 1 raised to 3 upon 2 is 1 so here we'll get 1 and guys if you'll observe the question then we got the required result so here we have proved that the given length of curve is 8 upon 27 into 1 plus 9 b upon 4 a will raise to 3 by 2 minus 1 so guys I'm sure you understood how I got the curve from the basic graphs that we have studied why I have taken the equation for finding the length of curve as s equal to integration x1 to x2 under root 1 plus dy by dx the whole square dx and how we got the solution by solving it. So just follow the same method in the examination to get the answer and don't forget to subscribe to our channel and press on bell icon because this is the only place where you will get knowledge of all engineering subjects under one roof. Thank you very much. Keep watching. In the next video, we'll start with the problem number two on the same Cartesian curves.